hey guys welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you two title card effect ideas that you can use on your next music video let's get into it okay we'll start with a really easy title card that also incorporates the use of the saber effect first things first get your text tool write the names uh, for the title card in this in my case potential is the name of the song and then switch back to your selection tool and then you can move this how you want it then go back to your text tool and once again create a different text layer and then you can label that as the name for the song so in my case it should be uh, the name of the artist now d block i'll go to my character settings and then change the fonts for this i will also show you where to get the fonts that i will use in this tutorial right at the end of this tutorial so for d block i will go with designer uh, let's see okay designer I also recommend whenever you're using a, a white, in, in my case I'll be using a white fill for this, just add a small stroke by clicking here to activate the stroke. Click once again so that you can define the color of the stroke. In my case I will add black. Make sure it's just a little, it doesn't need to be a lot, it could also be at 6 pixels. Make sure it's fill of a stroke. So you can see the difference between the text that has a stroke and the text that doesn't have a stroke. And then I'll go to the name of the song, change the font. I could try different ones. Uh, let's see. Okay, I like this bell MT. Okay, this is really super simple. So I'll make sure D block is bigger and potential has a small size. In that sense, I just want it to be right here in the middle. Once again, find your align tab. And if you don't have these tabs, just go to window and ensure a line or character or paragraph they are enabled so i will align it horizontally and vertically and then uh, for the name of the song i'll just place it right here now i'll go to this empty space here right click and bring in a new solid it should be black essentially go to your effects and add the saber into it on saber we have different presets that you can choose from but before we do any of that let's just go to customize core tab point it to the text layer and then specify the text layer in our case it was the name of the song and then now we can just scroll between different presets uh, depending on the one that picks your interest uh, in my case i will go with simple orange like that and then i will reduce the glow intensity just a tad bit about 14 percent should be okay and then the glow spread you just find what works for you I will increase the glow spread just a little bit until I see something that I can work with. And then once again, the glow bias, use the default value as it is, or you can also tweak it how you want it. I like what I have so far. So what I'll do, I just want to be able to see through uh, this black space. So go to your render settings at the bottom and make sure your composite settings are transparent so that you can see what you're, what you're doing. One other thing, if this doesn't, if this looks a bit sketchy for you, just reduce the brightness a little bit. I'll take mine up to around 0.8. And I think this is something that I can work with. I'll just go back to my glow intensity and change the values just a bit. Okay, so I will work with these parameters as they are. If you want, you can also animate how these words pop out. So find your start offset tab. But before we do that, because if we if I try doing this, you can see I can see the text that is right beneath. So hide the text layer right here. As long as it's on the black solid, uh, you don't have to be worried about anything. Add a keyframe for start offset. Hit U on the black solid. Push that keyframe a little bit to your right. And then I will take the value to 100% like that. Squeeze it to the beginning. And now you can see the text just pops out really well it's really simple i just want to add a few elements to spice it up i will bring in the parental advisory and probably the sony dynamic digital sound i can bring them into after effects i will also link them down below in case you want to use them scale them down up to around five and then just spread them out across the name of the song okay uh, these ones look good I don't like the color of this one since it's it's all in black we can't really see what's happening so just go to your effects and look for an invert put it on that one 
and then it inverts the channel from black to white and that looks really good already once you've arranged everything like that just hold shift and click on everything and pre-comp and then just animate it using your opacity keyframes by hitting t uh, starting it from zero and uh, put them to easy ease and this is our eventual look really simple we didn't have to try too many things you can always go back and adjust any settings that you feel like you need to uh, in my case i would maybe probably come back and increase the side the size of the word d block and once again align it properly yeah so that's the only change that i could do that i will do afterwards uh it's not well aligned so that's the only change i will do uh, so far, I think I would carry it as it is. For the second part, we will be incorporating Element 3D in this one. So as I showed you, just add your text layer and add the name of the song. In my case, I'll use the name No Remorse. I will also use a different font for this one. I'll go to my character. I got this one also online. I want to change to, it's called Avon. Avon, yeah. I will remove stroke from it. I don't need any stroke. So click right here to disable the stroke on it. Okay. And then once again, create a new solid and add element 3D onto it. The main thing that you want to accomplish with element is to make the text 3D and to also extrude it. I've played around with the character settings for this. So I'm confident with what you have. So I'll go back to my element, go to the custom layers tab custom text and mask and then point it to the text layer that we just used so now you can click on scene setup element should open up once you're here just click on extrude and your text should appear click on this selection tool and all you need to know your scroll wheel will help you to zoom in and out and then if you hold alt on your keyboard or option on mac you can click and drag around to see what you have click on the extrusion model here and make sure you've clicked on the bevel and you should see your extrusion values here so i'll make sure i can see it on an at an angle and then i will increase the size like that uh yeah i will increase it just a little bit more i think that's okay you can keep playing with these other settings they can make the bevels much thicker depending on your preference I think I love I like it when it's much thicker in that sense. And then don't forget, as long as you're working with a 3D material, you need to add some material onto it. Click right here, find the materials. You can try different ones. I'll simply go with the metal diffused material for the sake of the tutorial. And then you can click OK, come back to After Effects to see what you've done. Hide the text layer that you started with. You can see what you are trying to create. So far, I think everything looks good. You can click on your group settings under particle look you can increase the size under particle size xy you can increase the size of the texts uh, in whatever dimension that you want you can also increase the size of the text generally right here one more thing that i'd like us to do i'd like us to blend or to fuse the texture of the text with the scene go to your custom layers once again custom texture maps and then point this layer to the video layer that you're using in my case this is the video that is right below now we can go back to our element 3d scene setup and then click right here so that it takes you to the textures right under reflectivity you can click on it and then load the texture from the custom layer that you just chose click ok and now we can determine how much is reflected so i will put it at around 60 percent we should see some reflections from from the scene that we just used you can also add the the diffuse and point it to the same texture uh, should give you more or less what you're looking for and then we can click ok and once you're here you can see it kind of blends in with our scene much more you can see it's kind of more blended to the scene uh, which which now makes sense now we'll just add some keyframes and tweak it how we want it. So under the group settings, under group one settings, this is what you want to focus on. Just drop every other layer down. You can also deform the text. Uh, let's try the bend. You can enable it and then you can bend the texts like this. 
you can bend it along different axes so i will undo that you can have it go up but i like it as it goes down you can also change the direction of the bend let me just zoom into the into the video you can also change the direction of the bend so i will leave it as that i think this looks good i just want to add some keyframes to make it uh, more captivating as you can see there are more settings that you can play with you can also play with the rotation of the texts okay so i want us to rotate it around these axes so under rotation i want us to rotate it around the y axis and we can also add keyframes so that it appears like it comes into the screen so i will add a keyframe for y rotation hit you so that i can see what's happening push that keyframe to the right hand side and then i can rotate it briefly just like that or this other way and then you can go up to the particle replicator settings and then the position xy will help us animate uh, the movement of these texts on the z axis okay so you can add a keyframe for position z and then hit you so that you can see that keyframe push it and realign it with the other one and then right here we will zoom it into the screen just bring it into the screen until it disappears and then i will squeeze these two keyframes to the left hand side so far this is what it looks like uh, it's actually perfect i will highlight on these keyframes put them on easy ease and then for the position z keyframes i will go to the velocity time graph and then i will squeeze these to my left hand side so that the effect is slower as it ends so this is what we have now yeah looks really professional and then one more thing that i'll do to finish this off i want to add a small glow so i'll go to my effects add a sapphire glow onto it play around with the brightness and the threshold when you reduce the threshold you increase the brightness click the glow width so that it spreads a little bit more and this is our final output yeah since it comes over here i'd like to add just one more keyframe on this y rotation particle so that it just doesn't stay there stagnant just add a little bit of movement uh yeah so this is our final look now and that looks really perfect before you go i wanted to show you where i got my fonts from so i get them from a thousand and one fonts and dafont.com so the advantage of the former is that you can type in what you want to preview and then you can choose between different categories as you can see it live so you can see there's so many options i actually like this one and you can go for the heavy fonts because those are the ones that you usually want on your title cards and there are so many pages i actually uh kind of prefer the font.com because it has a better versatility so you can see these are really strong fonts that you can use i went onto the sans serif and the serif categories and this is where i was able to get most of the ones that i liked like this one you have so many pages to scroll through you can also try the sci-fi category you can see you also get a lot so i will still link down below the ones that i've used in this tutorial and yeah those are the two title card effects that i wanted to show you on this tutorial i hope you did enjoy every single part of it if you do have any questions or concerns or anything that you'd love to add on to this tutorial kindly feel free to leave it on the comment box and i'm happy to have a back and forth with you guys again feel free to check out my website at dannyjames.co for preset packs and lats to level up your visuals my name is danny james see you guys on the next tutorial peace